I live in Fort Collins, Colorado, and I enjoy lots of outdoor activities, skateboarding. I like to uh, get in the backcountry a lot. I like to hunt and, yeah, fly fish. I do some Tai Chi and yoga outside. I, gar I, I do a lot of manual labor. Mm -hmm. You can bring your chin down a little bit and back. Currently, I'm at the Rolf Institute. I just finished the first phase. A year from now, I'd like to be starting a practice in Fort Collins. I feel good being active. I've done a lot of high impact sports and taken a lot of spills. I think some of those things have stuck with me and as I've gotten older, uh, some of those impacts sort of are coming to the surface a little bit. I'm interested in learning some strategies just that I can bring to my own life, that I can bring to the people that I work with to help them with movement. And that's ultimately, it's, it's those little movements that add up. Well, I just wanted to check in and see how you're doing with what we did in your last session. Uh, doing well with that. Um, been thinking about um, just hinging when I'm walking. Mm -hmm. and, um, what we did last time was helping uh, just the subtleties of sort of breathing into uh, pelvis and bringing that a little bit more anterior and mm -hmm. just opening up. Right. right. Um, okay. That's felt good. Yeah. Okay. And walking so, from your psoas. Exactly. Yeah. Just kind of swinging through both. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So tell me when you're working, when you're doing massage, are there parts of your body that get tired or is there anything that feels awkward or uncomfortable that you'd like help with? I would say, um, yeah, I was thinking about it and maybe some, you know, in some of maybe the cradles sometimes, mm -hmm. um, and that might have to do something with height, mm -hmm. but sometimes in my arms. When and then, working, and really in my hands. Sometimes. When you're working under the body, is that when you? Working under the body, and I'm just sort of. Up go the shoulders. Up go the shoulders, <laughs> maybe for an amount of time. And, mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah. All right. Sometimes, you know, on this knuckle, mm -hmm. when I'm working like that, I was wondering, like, what my angle, how that could improve, uh, or. Uh, okay. So it doesn't so feel like this is like. So working with the knuckle? I would say rather than just taking that one, yeah, use these, these two, two, yeah, mm -hmm. right here, and then keeping a pretty straight line there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't want to indent you. No, no, no. Yeah, but so that you're working this way, mm -hmm. because if you get an angle like this, it's gonna mm -hmm. it's gonna wear on you. Yeah. And I'm looking for you to be able to do five or six sessions a day for the next forty years. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> line them up. Oh, that will wear it out. <laughs> So what I'd like to do first is just watch you work for a few minutes. Okay. So just as if you were starting a session, let me just see how you're working and then as we go along I'll make some suggestions. So I'd like to make a few suggestions about your sitting position mm -hmm. as you're sitting there. Um, <clears throat> what happens if you move the stool back just a little bit? and then put one foot forward under the table so that you have a rocker like this. Mm -hmm. So that instead of being here where you're not as active, you're a little bit planted, yeah. try being here so that you have some mobility at your hip hinge here. Okay. Okay, just explore that and see how that feels. And then explore also being in terms of what we were working on last time, being just a little more in front of your sit bones and lengthening the same line between the back of the sternum and then take it up, oh no, without collapsing. <laughs> lean forward a little at this. Remember this work that we did last mm -hmm. time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So leaning forward a little at the hip hinge and still keep your length here. A little bit more length in the chest. Yeah, that's it. How's that feeling to you? Feels good. So I'm feeling now you're a little more present. You mm -hmm. were good before. You were, it wasn't awful. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> you were just a little bit back here. Yeah. And now I feel you a little more present with your hands. Mm -hmm. And so being as present as possible when you're working is, mm -hmm. is, is what we're basically going to be getting to. Yeah. 
Did you feel any shift in his touch as he moved there, Emmy? As he's settling into it now, I do. Yeah. Good. Um. Yeah. I think you were taking him in his body a bit mm-hmm. to shift his position. Yeah. And then with you and like people talking and stuff, I feel a difference. And then like when it's quiet and settled down, then I feel him even more present. Feel more present. And stabilized. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So just be with that for a minute, breathing, and, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's looking. So I'm still going to keep working with you to get that that lift in the chest, because I see that's your, you know. We're working from your heart chakra, with all that that means. It's the love place, and so you want to bring your heart to what you do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. That's better. So, <clears throat> I know you would probably take a little longer than this in a session, yeah, but right. let's move on now and see some other positions that you're working in. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Where would you go next? Yeah, maybe some strokes on the neck. Mm-hmm. Just okay. A little bit, so let's with that. see how that would look. Same thing, as, as you work with her neck, bring yourself a little more. Mm. When you're making a pulling back motion, mm-hmm. this is a little bit, um, uh, what do I say, counterintuitive, mm-hmm. because I think we think we want to do this. But actually, Intuitive. if you lean forward a little bit more as you pull back, you'll have more stay, stay open here. Yeah. And now, as you pull back, lean into it a little bit. And you actually get more weight into your hands, and you have a, a, a deeper touch. Can you feel that? Mm-hmm. Now even a little bit more. Mm-hmm. How does that feel to you, Emmy? It feels good. It feels better than it did. Mm-hmm. Um, there's some hesitancy in your voice. Yeah. Uh, it's hard because I finished phase two. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So if like, but I guess either way. Um, yeah, just more presence with like the layers of the tissue. Pardon me. Like, more presence with, like, the layers of mm-hmm. the tissue. Yes. Yeah, so and, like, listening. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, um, more just see what the change in his touch is for now. Because he's okay. starting mm-hmm. yeah. in it, too. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, no, it was definitely more present than it was to begin with. Mm-hmm. Could you feel Could you feel that when you had your weight into it that, um, that it made a difference to you, or...? Yeah, I mean, more yeah. into the work. It seems like, you know, the idea is that if I'm pulling back, maybe I should be doing this way. Mm-hmm. But then you lose everything. You mm-hmm. lose your contact. So you lean more. Try it again, just leaning forward over your fingers, and then feel how the contact can shift. Yeah. So lean into it a little. And then just feel that weight come into your fingers. Yeah. Is that helping? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. How about you, Amy? Is that feeling more contact? Um, like, don't be afraid to get in there, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she wants more, she wants it deeper. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, see, that's even better, just right there. And it's yeah. not even that much deeper. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like, really connect and feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's already starting to get better, yep. Okay. Right. 
else do? Finish your stroke there and then bring your stool over here because I want to try something with you. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Feels better. He she likes it. Okay. <laughs> so come face me here. I just work with you on weight transfers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm going to just use my muscle mm -hmm. and put weight, put energy into your thighs. Okay. And feel the quality of that contact. So now I'm pretty much working out of here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to use. Remember what we did last time when we were rocking at the cinch? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to use that weight and again make contact. Yeah, feel the difference? Yeah, and now this is what I want to add for you. Open your eyes. <laughs> okay, and then add the weight of my head and feel what happens then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm seeing is you're sitting there holding her head and working with her neck. I'm wanting, um, wanting to feel your uh, energy moving a little bit more. Mm -hmm. so you're quiet. So, finding this hinge, let me just see you rocking like we were doing last time. Yeah. And now, why don't you put some weight into my thighs? Okay. Keep open here. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, that's so. This is the pattern we're really looking mm -hmm. to change, so that you're not going here, but you're really. Yeah, bringing, that's the tendency leaning into yeah. something is like. So, oh. remember everything we worked on about keeping long, letting your chest come up even more. Not your chest. Yeah, a little more. Okay, now keep that and rock forward at your hip hinge and just drop your weight into my thighs. Good. And now drop the head a little bit. Now this is about as far as we took the head rocking last time, mm -hmm. I think. But now drop it even further. So the weight of your head is, is a tool you can use. Let that weight come through. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. More. More head. Yeah. Good. Now you're really down there. Can you feel that with me? You're right close to the bone. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> nice touch. So very important for you. I think the heart of this session is going to be keeping this open as you work. Mm -hmm. And keeping all of that vitality that's in you there, letting it out. Yeah. Because your tendency is to hide it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Let, let's see you working around the table too. Yeah. So what if you were just working a stroke down her thigh or... You can put her in any position. You can invite her to be in any position that she that you want her. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You could do that on the on the thigh. Mm -hmm. I suppose. Mm -hmm. And just uncover this a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And then, do you want to scoot towards me? Yeah. Maybe like through here. Mm -hmm. be okay. Better. So you're working with the androsis membrane yeah. there. Okay. Maybe in here, and that could be better. Supine. I mean, um, so on her side. Pardon? Or is this good position to? That's, a, work that's in an okay that position line? to work with it on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now let me make a suggestion. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just wanted to see how you were going to position yourself. So what I'm seeing is that you're pretty quiet down here, mm -hmm. and you're sort of again settled in without much vitality from your support. So may I make a suggestion mm -hmm. that um, 
Come, let me come where you are for a moment, and we won't wear out the spot on you here. <laughs> okay. So, one of the basic principles of working is the whole body participates in the direction of intention. So right now you've got you're going this way, but a lot of your body is pointing yeah. that way. Can I get behind it? Yeah. More so what I would suggest yeah. is that you come over here, yeah. since you're going to go this way. Yeah. Then. The other thing I really, let's do a little bit of work on the rocker principle. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm gonna leave you here for a minute. So the rocker principle is just that you're going to take a step and put your hands on the wall like this. Okay, and now when you're walking, just step back a little bit longer, because a little further. When you're walking and you take a step, you don't bend your knees, you just step over. What I'm doing is I'm pivoting over a straight leg and I'm making myself as long as possible. Because the longer I am, when I shift the weight, the more weight I have. And when I break that line, I have less weight. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna let that front leg be straight and you're gonna take a step and just put your hands on the wall and push the wall down, okay? <laughs> And leave this foot back here. Leave it planted? And, yeah, and then bend your toe hinge and lift your, uh-uh. You're gonna pivot over a straight leg. And yeah, let's stay back here. So everything, you want everything from your ear to your ankle to be in one straight line. And then let your weight fall into the wall. Now let's step back a little bit with the back foot, put your heel on the floor and feel how that starts to pull you back away from your work, yeah. this being your work. Yeah. Okay, so now lift the heel, and let, as you lift the heel, very slowly let the weight go into your hands. Yeah, and then bring it higher, and more weight goes into your hands, yes? Yeah, am I still planted though through my left foot? Right? Yeah. And then if you back off and take your weight out. And rock forward and put weight in. Yeah. And back off and take weight out. Yeah. Okay, so now let's try that on Amadi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. First of all, I'm going that way. So my whole body's going that way as much as possible. It's not always possible, but even your feet pointing in the direction that you're taking tissue will help. So now I'm going to start to work down here. And my foot is doing the work. This is the, this is the working part of me, okay? And the rest of me is simply channeling my weight. And then I go here. And if I want more weight, I drop my head. Feel that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and then I might keep working here. I'm using my weight. Try that. So you want to be vital from the floor up. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> nothing planted and still. Okay. <laughs> okay, but everything is alive in the direction you're taking tissue. Try that. <clears throat> Front leg stay down. Ah. So your tendency is to get your pelvis forward and then you go back. Mm -hmm. So yeah. so keep your pelvis in line. Keep this long, yeah, and then go. In one straight line. And now you're gonna work off of this foot. That's it. That's where your energy is coming from. Stay long. It's okay. so different. Yeah. yeah. And you're tending to, so you don't want to break that line. That, huh? Yeah, you don't want to break that line. Hmm. I'm not saying never, because there are times when you want to get under something, mm -hmm. and you will be bending your knees. Yeah. But generally speaking, say this is your your basic working model, and then you may change it at times when you need to. Mm -hmm. But this is your your standard way to go. Okay. Yeah. So I would be like. 
you know, feel like real, be like really planted yeah. and yeah. come from there, but that, that doesn't allow for but movement. The, yeah, from see, that. then what's yeah. happening is when that heel is glued down, half of you is going yeah, that right, way. Right. And if all of you goes where you're going, yeah, right. it, it, all. it changes. It also, it's really, um, it's about connection. If I am taking, if I am working with her, whatever I'm doing, and I'm taking part of me away from my work, feel how I just left you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And so now I may be working away here, but half of me is going off that way. Mm -hmm. And when my, I bring my whole self to her, it's a whole other level of connection mm -hmm. on every level, not just the physical. So very different when I touch her this way, yes? Yeah, because I'm here. All of me, right down to my toe hinge. <laughs> okay, so just play with that a little. Mm. And so this is your, I'm seeing your pattern is that you go to work this way by dropping your pelvis. So that's really important to keep your tail out. Out. This way. <laughs> this length. Oh yeah. This length. But in this sense. Yeah, so what is that is that not as much as just bring it out? So what you what your pattern is is to go under. And what that when you take the the pelvis under, then what's congruent is to drop the chest. Yeah. And then you've got your heart's not with it anymore. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, that's good. That's it. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. That makes sense though. Right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now this is this is a big shift. I can tell mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in your working way, but I'm glad I got you before you went any further. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So try again. This leg is straight, and you and you have length here. This is called putting your heart into it. And now, yeah, yeah, now feel how you come up and over. And let, now let you. Uh -uh. Don't. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Now come off of that foot. This is your working hinge. Would this be too high, though, for kind of where I'm at, this table right now? It doesn't. I don't think so. Is that fine? Yeah. Okay. It's not too high for me. I'm littler than you. <laughs> but if you keep this leg straight, that'll make a difference. Okay, that's going to be yeah. hard to pattern to change. So I think there's a fallacious thing that goes around that you've got to get planted yeah. and then work. But then all of this is not participating. <laughs> Go ahead now, lift the heel. In back. Yeah. More. And more. And let your weight tilt, tilt up and over and into her body. There you go. Mm. Yeah, she likes that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now if you want to go deeper, you lift the heel just a little more in back. Yes. Mm. And you, if you want still more, you can drop your head more and let that weight drop into your hands. Mm -hmm. So can you feel that shift? Yeah. How do you like that? It's wonderful, yeah. Yeah. I think so. So now, awesome have a sense that you're always alive from your feet. That's looking really good. That's really good. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Mm hmm. And if you want to go deeper, you lift the heel a little bit more. That puts more weight in. Mm -hmm. How's that feeling for you? Come out depth awesome. wise. Yeah. What wise? Depth wise. It's good. You can yeah. yeah you can go a little deeper if you felt okay. like it. Okay. It's not necessary. You always have that front leg straight like that, huh? Not always. Not always. But, but typically, if I'm like typically, that. yeah. And then there are times when you want to get under or around and you do something different. Mm -hmm. But I want you to get this. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then once you have it, you, you can leave it. You ever lean against the table? Are you trying to be really... <clears throat> Not usually. Not so much. I mean, there's this one, too. Yeah, people. right. <laughs> yeah. And Same then again, idea, though, you're, you're working out of yeah. your arms. Yeah. And then you're going to wear yourself out and your touch is going to be much less uh, penetrating. Because as soon as I start to work out of my arms, I have tension. The tension communicates to her, this and what has does to she be do? Open mm -hmm. for yeah. Mm -hmm. Then she's gonna re she's gonna resist. Yeah. 
And then you're going to have to plow through her resistance, which will be painful, mm-hmm. which is the bad reputation that Rolfing got years ago. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember when we first when I first started doing this work at the Rolf Institute, coming in to classes, and people were like, you know, get in there and get it, you know, and the poor client is yeah, tightening right. up, and then it's painful, and it does not have to be painful. You know, unless you hit a really traumatized spot and then you just back out and be super careful. Yeah. Okay, so that leg's gonna be straight. Yeah, straight. Yeah, try it again. Maybe move down a little, don't wear out the same yeah, right. spot. Yeah, I was kind of near. Yeah. yeah. Uh-uh, where's that pelvis going? Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> And now play with the weight of your head. You can drop it more, and you'll get more depth. Yeah, feel that? Or you can come back out a little bit with your head, and it makes a nice, smooth exit mm. when you are. You know, if you come out with your head and step back a little with your heel, you make a nice, smooth exit out of the tissue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Stay. This is where you want to sling yourself over to the left. This? What's that rotation about? Yeah. Um, I guess getting in line, I'm feeling like, to mm-hmm. get in line this okay, way. Well then you then know? move the foot a little to go with it so you're not... Over here? In. So, no, so that yeah. if you want to... If you're here and you want to get yourself more in line, get in line from the foot. Okay. So that you're not ending up twisting yourself. Yeah. Okay. So how are we doing with this thigh? <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Why don't you come onto and try that on the other side? Okay. So we don't. As you learn to do this, you're going to feel the tissue between your hands. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to be much more effective if, that, if I'm just doing this. Not so effective. But if I'm doing this, yeah. I've got that whole thigh in my hands now. And then, can you feel that difference? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm working down here too, even though it looks like I'm not. I'm. I'm shifting the tissue a little bit to go with what I'm doing up here. Okay. So, almost always two hands on the body. Yeah. Because not only as you learn to work between your hands, which saves you a lot of a lot of work. Yeah. It also um, it's also more comforting for the client. Yeah. And to feel like you're there with both hands. Oh. So, yeah. yeah, you're not just doing something. You know. Did you, mm-hmm. Yeah, you learn all that in phase two, mm-hmm. which is. Cool. They really help you with that. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I don't feel like they do a ton with touch in phase yeah, well, one. But it's like here it is. Here you are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. Bending brings the pelvis forward yeah, though. It does. And straightened it pushes it. And out. you also do a cute little rotation with it when you bring it forward. <laughs> which is puts you more out of line here. Yeah. So now you're working off that. This is straight and you're working off of here. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Mm -hmm. Keep your heart open. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Keep thinking about lifting that chest a little bit more. Putting your heart into what you're doing. I want to see that back foot alive. Yeah. So, it's not, nothing down here is stationary. The mm-hmm. whole thing is alive. Mm-hmm. You're breathing your whole body down to your feet. And does this need to be in line with my front foot or can it kind of... Mm-hmm. Yeah, see what feels See what feels like it's supported. Some of this is just finding. Yeah. You know, feel, feel around a little bit and find the place where it gives you the most support for what you're doing. It's not like exact angles. <laughs> mm-hmm. And as you continue, just keep lifting the heel. Yeah. And now suppose that you want to work lower down on the leg. Mm -hmm. You just walk down with your feet to support your work. Yeah. So you might want to bring that back foot a little closer as you, and then take a tiny step. 
and support going further. Yeah. And the heel is looking kind of, it's pulling you back here. Let the heel come up. Up and over. Yeah. I feel like I'm in That's front of everything right now. Right? Kind of, I feel like I'm in front of everything. <laughs> yeah, you know? I'm sorry. I wasn't quite watching where you were. So, but your front knee, I want to get straight and bring the back foot a little closer. So that <clears throat> the other thing, I, I did watch your video of your. Okay. Oh, your thing at the, that you did at the Roth Institute, and you were wide. Yeah. So, unless... Yeah, and I was really, like, opened up wide. Yeah, it was like yeah. So, I would say what you're saying. staying <laughs> fairly... Your feet are fairly close together, unless there's a reason that they aren't be. Mm -hmm. So, when you get back too far, then you're more spread out, then you're much more likely to have to bend the knee. So, just come here. And it's a thing of this way. And what we worked on last time with the head moving from mm -hmm. the from the top of the head, that too. She's softer there mm -hmm. and then not so soft here. Mm -hmm. So you've made a change. One of the biggest mistakes that early rolfers do is to wail away on the same place over and over again long after it's released. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so make a habit of palpating the tissue and seeing what you've done and then move on. That's where the sessions end up. You know, then the teacher's going, I'm hey, supposed to be finishing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so happy to and if you're staying too long on something you've already released, then the sessions get too long and yeah. the client gets tired of it. Mm. So let the heel come up, up and over. Almost like you're taking the top of your head on an arc like this, going through the, ah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's looking very nice now. How's that feeling to you? Besides strange. Huh? Uh, I'd say it feels good. I'm just like thinking like, I feel like I'm more thinking about myself than that's okay for necessarily, now. you know. That's okay for now. What am I doing? You're, this, you're, is, this, is, this is about you, this yeah, session. Right. She's okay with that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, totally. Yeah. Yeah. No, for now, mm -hmm. you're thinking about yourself. Okay. You have to first. I feel and like. this is really in the service of all your clients. Yeah, for sure. Because the more that you're present with what you're doing, the better off are you going to be. And you got to kind of learn it. <laughs> yeah. It helps. I think it, it feels more natural to have this like straight when, the, like you said, to bring this foot a little yeah, closer. Right. Yeah. That's true. This we'll straightens it up and I feel like yeah. it brings me. Yeah, good, good. Okay. Back. So, so it I, f I feel kind of like I'm like falling over a little bit. Like I'm not. I don't feel rooted. I don't feel grounded. I don't want to say grounded, but okay. So you know, like I the so just some of the stuff. I, this that's been my sort of like really like sink yeah. in and okay. like have a strong base. Uh -huh. I want and a I, strong base. And I, but I feel like when I'm like this, like I could get pushed over easy okay. or. So, let's see what you're feeling there. So I think if you bring that back foot a little closer, but you are you're you're lighter. You're much more mobile mm -hmm. than it's you are. It's more mobile. Yeah. 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 So you want to communicate mobility to the client. That's mm -hmm. part of it. So if you're like planted, totally. you're not going to be communicating vitality yeah. to the body in the same way. Um, but I. I so I'm, one, I'm concerned about you feeling tippy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so part of that's getting used to this new idea. But the other thing is, really ground through this foot. You're really grounding through both feet. Even yeah. though you're using this one, keep that toe, that toe really on the ground. But the other thing that may help you is to be conscious of your pelvic floor. And as you stand here in this position with the toe hinge bent, release the pelvic floor so that you really ground down through that front foot. How does that yeah, help? I feel that. Yeah. yeah. And then play with it. Tighten your pelvic floor. Suck it up. And feel what that does to your grounding. Mm -hmm. And then let it go again. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I want to show you a few other things. Do you feel like you have this well enough to play with it? I do, yeah. I feel like it's... Okay. Uh, 
So there's a, a so we're working with different yeah. rockers. Sitting, we started to talk about this when you were at the head. Again, one foot forward, one foot back. And like with this table, you got to be sure you don't end up putting your foot on the, <laughs> on the lever and scooting it up. <laughs> okay, so now if I want to put some weight into the sole of her feet, I'm using this hinge that we worked on last time. I'm using the head response, the head, yeah, nodding. And I'm just rocking my weight into the foot. And then, would you bend your knee, Emmy? And we'll have, we'll have you play with all of this. And if I'm working on, this is how I work with feet, by the way, mostly because I like to see it in relationship to the, the way, somewhat the way it would be if they were standing. So now I have my hand under here. Again, I'm going to do that pulling thing. So watch. As I want to bring my fingers back, I'm dropping my head. And that immediately gives me more strength in my fingers. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And dropping the head. And at the same time that I'm pulling back, the more weight I put through into my hand, the less the hand has to work. So I'm going to try that. So one, now again, you want, don't want your legs too wide because then they're not going to support you. You're going to be falling into a hole. And, and this one could be back. It doesn't necessarily have to be under my knee. No, if one forward, one back. Because the back one, you can also push off of. Just as, mm. So now think about the length of your torso, all of it that you're going to have now. <laughs> okay. And then oh, take, the, take it from the hip hinge. Uh-uh, don't collapse in the chest. You're going to go forward with all of this long. There. That's it. Yeah. Again, come on, let me have your breath here. Let me have one more macho chest. <laughs> yeah, Everything a lot of, I hate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I shouldn't say it that way. No, a lot of times I have people the other way. I'm trying to get them to come yeah, down. Right. No, but for you, I really want you to fill into your heart here. Okay. And now, rocking forward from your hip hinge. Don't collapse here. Remember what we did? One hand on the chest and one on yeah. the heart. Yeah. So yeah. when you go forward, you want, do not want your hands to get closer together. Go forward. Uh -uh. From the hip hinge. There. That. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's the other way. <laughs> and that's mm -hmm. been your habit, I think. Mm -hmm. As you go to work, you drop into you drop your chest. Yeah. So stay long. And then go forward, and the yeah, head. and then you're working from the very top of the neck, so the neck, yeah. occiput floats off your axis. Yeah, good. Come back. I'm feeling that. Put the dog into this arm here. Okay. Okay. So try that again. So now you go forward, put the weight into the curled fingers. I'm going to just knock. How's that doing? Yeah, good. Stay long. Stay long. And I'm not going to give you really a macho chest. I shouldn't say that. I don't want that. <laughs> I just want a full heart. forward a little more if you want more weight. Stay alive. I'm going to stay I'm alive. Like my from shoulders kind of like mm -hmm. tightness maybe or you know I was feeling that rocking like mm -hmm. standing up. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling like I'm okay. tense in here. Kinda. Yeah so you, this is about staying open here. So your shoulders never need to come forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. Play with that a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this drops and then your shoulders come forward. So as this heart is full, let's say it that way instead of macho, okay? <laughs> a full heart. <laughs> that fits you better. Okay, let your heart be open. A little bit more, even more. Lift it. It's okay. Boy, there's a lot of resistance to that. Huh? What is it? Why do, what is it about lifting your chest? Is it? 
Does it feel vulnerable or? It's the way it's been. Or I don't know. Maybe that's. Yeah, it feels like Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> it's time to come out of your shell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. See, if I come up to you and say I'm your rover, mm-hmm. you're not going to feel yeah, too yeah. excited about me. No, I say I'm your rover. It feels different, huh? <laughs> okay. So let's have it. <laughs> Even more open. Open. Yeah. And then rock at the hip edge. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Take a break now. Stop. Take a breath. Yeah, how you doing? Yeah. Yeah, just, this is big stuff, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just take some breath. Just find your core breath and let it settle for a minute because we're disrupting your pattern rather seriously. Mm-hmm. And that takes a little absorption. Mm-hmm. Just take a few breaths and find yourself. Close your eyes if you want to. Mm. Mm. Okay. Let me try the other foot. And if you get too close, then you're going to have to collapse in order to not... And if I'm wide below. Yeah. So sit back a little bit more on the, on the stool so that you have good support in front of your sit bones, in front of your pubes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you want weight falling down through the front line. This, yeah. And now, how about her other pretty little foot here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> now if you get too close, you're going to have to collapse. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's... Yeah, so you have to get back up a little for all your nice length that you're going to have as you come forward. Yeah, makes sense. And come forward. Stay open in the heart. And then... And you have a forward foot to catch your weight? Yeah. Okay. Stay long here. Now drop your head from this high point and let that weight flow into your hands. Does that feel like me? And you know, you may need to go as you get into that. Yeah, I feel I'm not really doing much with my hands right now. Just sort of. Okay. Yes, stay long. Try curling your fingers a little bit and working that plantar fascia. Leaning forward a bit more. Yes. It's looking good. Mm-hmm. How's that feeling, Emmy? That feels connected, yes. You feel like a good touch there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let your body be moving with your hand, even if very, very subtly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that you never just plant yourself. You're always alive. So much of what we um, what we give with our roffing is the transference of our own energy through the contact. And if we're alive and fluid, then we are trans- transmitting that to the client along with everything else we're doing. Good, good. That looks very nice the way you're working there. Nice contact. Okay. How's that feeling now, Jake? Um, at first, yeah, I was definitely just like. In her foot, even with this top hand, like, yeah, yeah, just so the shoulders are only yeah. channels, you yeah, never right. work out of your shoulders, yeah. they're just there. Shoulders yeah. and arms are channels, fingers do have to work. 
Yeah. But um, we're not working out of here. Mm -hmm. All right. I'd like to show you one more position to work in. Okay. You finished with that foot? That was good. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was good. Here's another rocker, basically, is what I want to show you. And this one is at the knee. So I'm swinging, this foot stays on the floor. I'm really putting a lot of push out of this, this foot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure I know where your foot is. Okay. Yeah. Really? You're interested. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, really. okay. I get sessions, you know. Yeah. So try that. I just did down here, do here. So you're sitting on the table. I used to sit on my knee, but I can't, as I say, I can't do that anymore. But some, sitting on the knee allows you, let me show you what, with what I can do. Get on it. And you can... Yeah. It's like what I Yeah. If you can sit on your heel, kind of, it allows you to be more in line with the body. Yeah. But. I had to give that up with the last knee surgery, so. <laughs> but try that. Yeah. And then this foot's out to the side, and plant it. You get to plant it. Yeah, and you're <laughs> okay. sitting right on your heel. And you sometimes I in. sit on it, or sometimes, but now I have to sit beside it. But you can play around with how that works. But now, lay your elbow in here. And I want to just say one thing about elbow work. You have to be really close to do it. Yeah. Don't ever. Put your shoulder out in front of you to work with your elbow. So if you're if you're working with your elbow, you want to be right on top of it. Okay. If I get down here, look what happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I were going to work down there, I'd move down get over there it. to be right on top of it. You want to be right on top of your elbow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because one of the worst things you can do to yourself is work with your elbow with your shoulder off the mm -hmm. off the body. Okay. Now this what's out here, and you reach around and kind of find the best place, and then you're gonna. Tip your body by straightening your knee. This one? Yeah. Push down into the floor and straighten your knee. And then, yeah, there you go. Now you get to plant that foot <laughs> this time. Yeah. Try, explore bringing your foot a little bit toward me. Yeah. And when you're playing with this, you just have to reach around and find the right spot for your foot. And now straightening the knee a little bit. Is going to rock your whole body into your work. And you're still going to stay long. Yeah. A little bit more lively. Mm -hmm. And there, yeah. How's that feeling any similar to what I was doing? Somewhat. I uh, mean, yes, there, yes. Mm -hmm. So a little bit more. I think it'll get better. A little straightening more of the knee. Straighten the knee more. That's it. There you go. I'm bringing yeah. you in. Yeah. Yeah. So your knee is, your leg is strong and this works really well for this position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come from the foot. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know, we would like do some lines down. Mm -hmm. um, and I was just wondering like, when I'm, when I'm up here, I do it right because that's what I feel like. It's uh -huh. like I just never felt like good. Okay, can we part your position. hair in the middle and then put some on each side? Would that work? <laughs> it's gorgeous hair, lovely. <laughs> okay, when I'm working the trapezius, the mm -hmm. top of the trapezius, I work with the side of my arm there. Right. So again, let's doing. take a look at what I'm doing with my body before you start here. So I'm back to the same. Thing that we're working on at the table. Mm -hmm. So here, this is doing the work. And I'm just dropping in here and exploring. So I was take that back. Foot. Huh? So how is that this, back foot? This is doing the work down here. Mm -hmm. It's a toe hinge muscle. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So try that on the other side. I'm going to just lay the side of your arm. Find the, the um, posterior border of the of the trapezius, yeah. and then just lay the side of your arm in there, and uh, you're going to use the edge of your, uh, hold on. Right. Yeah. And now everything that we did before is relevant, okay? Staying open. 
Yeah. Now just let your weight in there and take it down. And now rest a minute. So one thing that's happening here, she's a little behind herself. So one thing before you start putting weight on anybody's shoulders, you want to be sure they're on top of themselves. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're going to crunch their back. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to take you forward a little bit more. And you, yeah, there. So now, if I lean on you, feel how the weight's going into your sit bones. Yeah. yeah. And if well, you're back here and I lean on you, where's it going? Nowhere. Like back towards you. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to be sure they're on balance point before okay. you start putting weight in. So then, if you want to, hmm. <laughs> okay, Sorry. I'm gonna move your straps a little. If you want to work down the back, then watch my body again. Same stuff that we were doing before. Okay. Okay. And she's pushing up through her feet. Yeah, she's me. She knows that. Yeah. If she didn't. You didn't need to educate her about yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, but I'm rocking so the work is happening here same thing that we were doing before and then as you go down you back up a little bit to curl forward a little Emmy and and then as you get very low you might actually ah, bend your knee mm -hmm. <laughs> okay <laughs> um, okay so why don't you start and see let's see how that goes You step. never hear that you're always. Um, most you people the spread bottom. here, yeah. and so I tend to work inward and inward that way. Okay. Yeah. And you take it in short. I do. I have my experience is that making long strokes tends to pile the tissue up and be uncomfortable for the mm -hmm. client. So I usually take fairly short strokes. Mm -hmm. So you want to curl forward for us here. And go ahead and start bringing her in here. Front knee is straight. Mm -hmm. Front knee is straight. Toe hinge. Back up a little. See, you got, you got, you're going to have more length. So by the time you get to your hands, you need to be a little bit behind. Otherwise, you're going to end up taking your pelvis under you again. That's it. And let your head also be part of it. Be alive from the feet all the way up. And, and you know, just shh, 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 you don't need to take forever. Curl a little more, Emmy. Yeah. Stay alive from your feet. Don't let your pelvis get forward. Yeah. Keep your butt back. Every time your pelvis comes forward, then your chest is going to want to collapse. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, beautiful. Feel the length coming in. And when we work But now you got to connect to me. Versus, Pardon me? Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing anything with you. So, but now so he has to connect to I'm me. I'm just like... Because right now he's not connected to me. Not at all. No, I'm not. I mean, my yeah, sense he's, he's, not, he's playing with it. Yeah, up and connect. down. Yeah, so now... Connect with her in those two different places and see what it feels like to you as Rolfer. What did it feel like to you? It's a little better. He's mm -hmm. scared to connect. Yeah. <laughs> like really fully. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, that's it. All that work is yours. Yeah. yeah. You had it before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Knees, knees straight. Yeah. Work off that back toe. Yeah. It's much better. Now you're feeling more connection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. I'll give you an idea. Yeah. Cause maybe yeah. All right. Lots to work on. <laughs> yeah. And come on up again here. 
So we started when you were sitting. Yeah. And at first you were kind of this way and this way. And we talked about, you know, when the ta you've got the table to deal with underneath, but try and as much as possible get your feet like this. Yeah. And then you're going to lengthen up and tilt forward. And remember that if you're too close to the table, the table's right here, then you're going to tend to go here. Yeah. So you need to find, feel the length from here to here, and then feel where your hands want to be and scoot the stool to that mm -hmm. place. Okay, so we did that at the beginning, and then we just did it later, working with her feet, working with how you're sitting, using this hinge to rock, and really important in every position, keeping this length. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's a big, big shift for you. Yeah, and just as of you know, a couple of days ago, starting to be more aware of that, and what we worked on a few days ago, mm -hmm, yeah. or whatever day that was, Tuesday, Monday. Is it? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's been that week to review. Right. Yeah. So that's, I feel like a lot of that's still kind of integrating. Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. thinking through that, and yeah. what does that look like in my body? And yeah, even when you're what, teaching. Yeah. Oh, when yeah. you're standing over this with the children and right. you're teaching. You're going to have a more effect if you're here than here. Yeah. yeah. So then we worked standing. We did against the wall. The idea is that it's just as if you're taking a step. And you wouldn't uh -huh. go walking around like this. Yeah, right. You'd wear yourself out in no time. Yeah. So it's just that front leg straight and you're coming up and over. And then this hinge at the top is responding to your forward bend, mm -hmm. yeah, to your go going forward over the table. And we talked about having everything participate in the direction of intention mm -hmm. as much as possible. And it isn't always. Sometimes we get ourselves on some weird positions. Mm -hmm. But if you have a basic idea of what's the best way to go most of the time, and then you have to go off it, sometimes you can come back to yeah, it again. Yeah, the habits. Yeah, yeah. right. And then, so we worked with that quite a bit standing. We came back to working sitting again. Mm -hmm. And we worked at the bench. And basically at the bench, except there, I like to use my elbow up here so that I'm this way instead of trying to do this. To just do the very on top the bench, part. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. the bench. Mm -hmm. Questions? Uh, I don't think I have questions now. Okay. I have a lot of, I got a lot running, you know, to play. I got a lot to play with, yeah. yeah and a lot to work on and mm -hmm. um, to bring into my sessions. I'm, yeah. I haven't started tons of them yet, you know. Yeah. I, I'm just finishing my table getting built and I, oh. all this stuff I'm doing is just sort of winding down. So right, right. I feel like these next two months are my chunk to really... Mm -hmm. You've kind of caught me more at the front end, at least of my hours I'm logging. Right, okay. Which I'm grateful for. Good. It All gives right. me a lot to think about, yeah. right? And right, yeah. Working yeah. on people and my just moving through it the day. It changes your charisma yeah. so much mm -hmm. when you come up out of there. Mm -hmm. Spin around for a minute <laughs> and see who's there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Do this one, and then just find that length, and lean forward, and see what you have. Up, all the way. Even more. Even more. And now look at who you are. Look at that guy. <laughs> I feel like I'm... I know, but you're not. Backward. You're yeah. not. No, I know. No. I know. What's happening is that... Okay, go ahead and exaggerate it. Do it even more. Even more. Yeah. That's not where you're going. <laughs> yeah. But come out of that just enough to be neutral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And then go back and look at this guy. And see how you feel about him rolfing you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I would play with it. Uh, this, being on the, what's helped um, this week is mm -hmm. being on the front of those sits bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's helped a lot when I've noticed it. Right, good. Because seated normally, it's yeah, more in the back, and it's it's on that coccyx. Yeah. I mean, it's... 
as soon as you go behind your sit bones, what's the called row is yeah, the C right. curve. Right. And so to find vertical, you need to really get up on just on the front edge of the curve. Okay. I like that look. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we'll stop there. Okay.